Hi guys, uh, moving on with the uh, GT40 build. The uh, next thing that I can't avoid doing is the panelling. Um, this customer has asked me to provide a laser cut um, aluminium kit. I've done a video that helps you organise the um, profiles if, if that's the way you've gone. And it also describes um, where in the Dropbox shared folder you can find the drawings so that you can give yourself half a start on them, cutting them from the sheets of alley that I provide as a standard thing. Uh, this customer has asked me to assemble the alley panels and the suspension steering brakes etc. Um, so I've got to get on with the panelling. So the first thing first thing you kind of would like to do is put the floor pan on because you can do that with the car upside down dead straightforward and then turn it over the only problem with that is that you find when you try to come to do the interior cockpit panels the floor pan gets in the way you can't get a drill um, in close enough to the bottom to drill the rivet holes uh, so you need to do the cockpit interior bits before you do the floor pan. On this car he's asked me to put um, a, dro a dropped floor pan in it so it's got steel uh, fabricated floor pans that are an inch lower uh, so that's not such an issue uh, but I'm still going to do it the way that I recommend and I'll flip the chassis over at some point and put the rest of the floor pan um, bits on. So. can see the profile of the panels. This one I've labelled up as per the last video as 0057. Oops. This long cutout there goes around this tube at the bottom. Slide it in. A little wiggle and we can see that it fits pretty good straight away. Um, so I'm not going to do anything with that one at the moment because uh, I know that fits. Really what I'm looking to do is do the folding and trim around anywhere where it's holding off on welds where the profile is very slightly different to uh, the shape of the chassis. So moving on, there's a panel that goes in here. This panel, 0062. You can see the form of it angled here to match the chassis. It then folds at this point and comes up. I need to go and use a, a big folder to fold that, so I'm going to put that aside for today and I shall get that folded in the morning. And so I'm going to move on to and do the cockpit interior panels because there's no, uh, of the lower panels at least, I can do with the little folder that I've got. So I'll just descri describe the folder that I use so for I've doing these panels. A little bench folder which is absolutely ideal for folding the light gauge aluminium that we use on the chassis uh, from a company called Stakesys. Uh, I think they're on eBay, they've also got a white website. Um, I think this cost £30 or something. I just screwed it to my bench. I've modified it a little bit. Put in, you're supposed to use G clamps to hold this bar in place. Um, but that makes it even more fiddly to use. So I've welded on this piece of angle with a couple of M10 bolts so that I can clamp that down a bit easier. But it makes a nice little fold. It makes nice little folds and 90% of the panels on the chassis can be folded in something uh, as long as that. Uh, for those couple of two or three long folds that are needed, 
Um, gonna have to go and beg still, borrow some time on a uh, box pan folder of some description uh, at a local company, or you could using um, some G clamps and some off cuts of tube, uh, potentially sort of clamp along the length um, and find a find a suitable method for sort of just turning it over. None of these folds are particularly uh, tight and um, none of them are particularly critical because so long as they're there or thereabouts by the time you riveted it in you can dress it up a little bit and it'll pull it to the right shape anyway. So don't get too hung up on um, super accurate. So the first panel that I'm going to put in is the one down the side of the transmission tunnel which looks like that and it's labelled mm, I put it labelled actually on this so that's panel 0043 there's two of them obviously one each side of the, of the tunnel and it needs a 90 degree fold on the end 28 mil off the end of the panel so I just folded this on the little folder so I'm just going to hold that in so hold that in rough position using a couple of clamps Obviously I have the other side to do, but once we've got the other side clamped in position, we can put this seat back bulkhead in, which is labelled 56. That literally just slips in like so. When the time comes, on this particular kit, we're going to have uh, all this powder coated in a cracker finish black, uh, which looks quite smart. Um, we'll rivet that in. We'll rivet through here into the fold that we put onto the transmission on the tunnel panel. But what we're really looking for at the moment in this trial fit is to make sure that everything fits in and we nick out the corners of anywhere where it's holding off on welds because if we powder coat something or paint it we don't want to be um, trimming those panels after paint and potentially damaging them. So I'll do the other transmission tunnel panel as a demonstration of how the folder works. So you'll probably all be familiar with a pair of verniers. But if you set it to 28 millimeters, you can then run down the edge of the panel and make a small score in the panel, which is your witness or your mark for where you want to fold it. Then you lay the panel in, you set this clamp bar along your fold line, make sure it's parallel with the um, pivot of the folder.
Can I put the bottle down? And in this case, fold through 90 degrees. And you get a nice fold. Quite happy with that. So just at the front here, where this has got a drop floor pan with a angle on the front, it's just catching and holding it up high. So we just need to same angle as the floor pan, relieve this panel. Pair of tin snips. Nice and sharp ones. And there we go. It's taken enough off the front corner there to make it sit properly. Drop the seat back, roll head back in. There we go, that's that bit done. Quite happy with that. The next thing I need to do is I need to find where the seat belt, seat belt bosses are so that we can put a hole in the panel. Okay, so the best way to find the centre for the seat belt bosses, take one side off, and with the panel clamped where you want it. Like a horizontal and vertical line either side of the boss on the centre. Then when we take that away we can complete those lines and where they cross is the centre. And we can transfer that over onto the other panel as well because we know that they're in line. So the next thing is to do the two sides of the um, cockpit interior. And just before we do that, I'll show you, but I won't be able to fold it at the moment because I need to use a bigger folder. There's also the main seat back panel. Fits like that, needs a subtle fold along the bottom, tuck round, and we need to drill through up here to the seat belt bosses. And this forms an access panel to get to the engine from the cockpit side. This has a close out later. side has a fold down this edge so that will be the first thing we need to do on this panel so just to f finish this video and update the um, progress a little bit this is the panel that I spoke about at the start that has the long fold 
you can see I needed to use a friend's uh, box and pan folder um, but it fits really nicely and also the upper part of the seat back bulkhead has a long uh, fold at the bottom and I did that at the same time I think they're the only two panels that uh, need these long folds and therefore uh, can't be done in the small bench folder so left to do to finish this um, section is to find the and drill out the holes for the seat belt bosses that go across the um, crossbar there on the rear roll hoop uh, and I still haven't yet put the holes in for the seat belt bosses on these panels but that'll be my next thing uh, then I shall check the fit again and those panels can go away to be powder coated and I'll move on um, to some of the other panels around the car um, so that's it for part one I'll move on there'll be several parts to this uh, panelling all these panelling um, videos so keep an eye out for that hope you find it useful I uh, hope it clears up some uh, any questions that you might have if, if you're at that stage of your build um, if you want to keep up to date with what we do on this channel uh, please subscribe and then you'll get notifications uh, as soon as the next videos come out until then thanks for watching cheers <laughs>